My name is Ellen de Meijer and I'm a business engineering student here at Sky Leuven and I went to the Zagreb School of Economics and Management in Croatia. I trust for the session because it, is because it has a very different approach to teaching. So it's way more hands-on, way more practical than a KU Leuven. You have a lot of group assignments, um, you do a lot of presentations, you write papers. So it isn't just individual studying. And I feel like this hands-on approach to teaching is something that the KU Leuven kind of misses in the first three years of Bachelor at KU Leuven. So that's why I trust for session. And I trust for the country because first of all, it's beautiful. I never went there. Um, it's warm until like mid-November, which I really like. And um, you get to travel a lot. And I also chose it because a friend, a friend of mine who's also studying here at KU Leuven went to the same university so we could go together, which was a big plus for me. I, Croatian is a very, it's a very difficult language, Croatian. So I think after four months of studying there, um, I can like order a coffee in Croatian that, and that's it. But everyone speaks perfect English, like at the university, the international students, the locals, their English is perfect, so there isn't really any kind of language barrier. So that was okay. The courses um, were easier uh, in terms of individual studying and final exams because um, the lot of, lot, a lot of the material I already saw here at Sky Leuven and also um, you know, you do a lot of assignments, uh, group assignments during the semester. So the, the things you need to learn for the exam is not that much. And also um, it's easier because first of all, uh, it's not an engineering school like the KU Leuven. So I didn't have any of my engineering courses. I had way more management finance courses, which I find personally a bit easier. So, um, and also they, you can do the final exam in January or you can do four midterms during the semester for each course which is like not a lot of material, they're pretty easy, and then you don't have to take the final exam, which was a big plus. So I went home after Christmas and I was free during the whole January because I didn't have to take the exams. And I really liked that. Yeah. So as I said, you know, the study method was a lot more hands-on, uh, a lot more practical. You um, get in touch with your professors. It's in small groups, so like a group of 20 or 30 students. Um, so you know everyone, you know your teachers, um, you do a lot of, of projects and presentations, you learn how to write papers, which I never did before at Geier Leuven. So yeah, it was different, but I find it very a very um, good me method of teaching. Sashem sends you a platform where you can look through the av available apartments. And I actually got a great apartment. It was right in the city center. Um, I got to stay there with the other girl who went with me from Kajaleva. We each had our own bathroom, we each had our own room, we had a kitchen, a living room, a balcony, it was perfect. And I didn't have any trouble with it. Also, Croatia is not that um, expensive in, ter in terms of rent, so you can get like a very cheap apartment, um, but still very beautiful. Um, the, the location was perfect, so yeah, I really loved it. If I got to go on exchange for a second time, of course, I would choose a new destination for, you know, a new experience. But I definitely want to go back to Croatia, to Zagreb once to see what that city has become. Because, you know, it's kind of lagging behind tourist wise because, you know, it still has the communist influence. But it's really getting there. It's getting beautiful. And I would love to see what the city turns out in like 10 to 20 years. So I would definitely want to go back to, you know, see what it turned out. And I would really go back to that university. I like their method, methods of teaching. I like the way they um, behaved with the international students. They did a lot for us in terms of, you know, um, permits of stay, finding your apartment, finding your way, in, way in, the, in the university. So yeah, we definitely go back. Also, like 75% of the students at Sechem are international students, and like 25 is locals. So, you know, everyone is like in the same situation as you are. So, yeah, I would definitely go back there. The best thing about my exchange experience is definitely the people. It's probably pretty typical, a cliche, but the people you meet are so nice, friendly, um, mostly internationals that I made friends with, but I don't even call them friends anymore. I call them family. Um, I still talk to them every day. Um, I hope to meet them after COVID that we can meet again with like my group. But you know, they're so friendly, kind, the different cultures you meet, the different approaches to life you meet, it's, 
you know, it's an, a unique experience. So that was definitely the best thing about that exchange. Yeah. And I went skydiving, which was like very, very cool. And I love doing that. And it's like the one thing I really remember about my exchange. So, yeah. The worst thing about my exchange, I had to think about that one a lot because I wouldn't fit a really fine one. But I think the worst thing is definitely being away from your family, your friends, you know, if something happens at home, you can't be there. Like for me, example, my grandma passed away while I was on exchange. So that was, you know, that was difficult because you can't be there with your family. I went home twice um, for that, but you know, I, I guess not everyone can do that to go home during your exchange. So I think that was the, the most difficult part about the exchange to be away from your family. Um, the first word I would use to describe my exchange is um, eye-opening. Uh, eye-opening in terms of the people you meet, in terms of what other cultures can be, in terms of what other methods of teaching can be. So yeah, I would definitely say eye-opening. And the second one is motivational. Like even after my um, exchange, I think it's almost a year that I, that I went there, um, I'm still motivated by the people I met by the university, you know, to become a better person, to become a better version of myself, to pursue my career. So yeah, motivational is definitely a word I would use. And then the third word would be challenging. So challenging in a positive sen sense, you know, you get challenged to be more independent. You have to do everything yourself. You, you don't have your parents or your friends there. You have to find your own accommodation. You have to do, find your own permit. You have to find a way to get there, to get back. You have to arrange your courses, your exams. So. It's, it's challenging, but you know, you, you become a, a better, more independent person through it. So yeah, challenging. I think the amount of work you need to put in your um, courses was way, uh, it's not comparable to the Kaya Leuven. So yeah, you put the work in the assignments, in the group assignments, in the projects, in the presentations, the papers you write, you put the work in there. But the midterms you do, like four times for each course, are like actually not that difficult. So, you know, if you have them on Monday, don't stay home during the weekend for studying. I kind of, you know, missed some trips. I was like, no, I have a midterm on Monday, I have to study. But you don't really have to. If you can look it through a couple of days before the midterm, you're fine. So I wish I knew that beforehand, that, you know, it will be more easier than I thought it would be. I think the most important tip I have is if you can take a car with you, do it. Um, the roommate I had there, who was also from the Kaya Leuven, we went together with the car. It's a two-day two -day drive, but it gives you so much freedom. I think we went away almost every weekend. We went to the coast, to the beach. We went outside of, of Croatia. We went to Italy. We went to Belgrade. We went to uh, everywhere, basically. We went to Budapest. So if you have your own car, it's way easier to travel around. So if you can take it, if you have the opportunity to, to bring a car, I would definitely say uh, do it because the freedom, you know, it's amazing. Another tip I can give to you is to do the Monday nights. The inter is the international nights that are organized by the university, but it's not from university at all. You just go out and party and go to restaurants with international students. So it's, it's exclus exclusively for your international group. Uh, it's very cheap uh, to go out there to party there. So I would definitely say use those those Monday nights for going out for partying. Then choose, uh, then use Tuesday to Friday for studying, and then the weekend for traveling. And then you'll be fine for all your midterms. So definitely say do it like that. Yeah. If you can pack it, bring you know the food you can live without because the food is not that great in Croatia. It's a lot of cheese, a lot of meat, a lot of fat. And if you're not really into that, I would say bring something you really like, your own treat that you like, because they also don't have the brands we have here at home. Croatia is a very internal economy, so they have their own local brands, very cheap, but not always that tasty. So bring something you like, so you kind of have your own food from home. I know that not a lot of people choose uh, Croatia as a destination, but I don't really understand why. It's a beautiful country, it's cheap, you can travel around, it's a good university. So yeah, I would definitely promote going to Zesham. If you're still not sure about going on exchange, do it. I was doubting myself, but I would do it again a second time. I would love to, so definitely just go. Yeah.